Hi guys, how's it? I haven't slept. It's um, 10 in the morning. 10.13. I haven't slept. I, I sleep during the day, but I haven't slept. And it's because of attack. I'm still under attack. Like, there is so much um, witchcraft in operation right now, and I'm alone. I don't have support. I don't have anybody to help me pray. I'm going through it on my own. And all I could think about was, do you know, guys, how many Christians right now, including those that tend to steer clear of the topic or the subject of the rapture, do you know how many of them are saying that the rapture is happening 2023 at the latest? People that don't even touch on the subject that much, like they talk about other things, they don't want to be rapture crazy and with the level of spiritual war that I'm going through right now like I just uploaded um, my shorts from the last work that I did <sighs> sorry and it's shocking how the ratio of likes to dislikes on relatively neutral it's not really neutral content but it's not as taboo it's not like i'm talking about gay rights or abortion rights i'm just making generalistic statements about the cross of jesus and how it is that we need to get saved and the ratio of likes to dislikes is just strange it's anomalous like I'm a Christian channel and my content is being pushed to Christians, mostly. Keywords in there, God, Jesus, etc. So that's what YouTube is recommending. So most of my videos should be, and as at the last couple of weeks, they, sh they, they, they should be more like, um, my ratio of likes to dislikes, I'm sorry, my brain is fudge, should be around 50, not 50, but like 80%. You win some, you lose some, you're going to get some people that don't like your stuff. But not like this. Like, I am getting strange, strange war. Even in my ratio of likes to dislikes. Like, I am getting 50%, like, 50% dislike. And I'm like, who in the world dislikes the message of the cross when they are being pushed Christian content because they're always searching for Christian stuff anyway? And then the Lord reminded me that the mark of the beast is this thing that is going to be embraced by the majority of the world. Most people are going to take it. And it's going to be during a time when it's so obvious that the world is coming to an end. The Bible is going to be getting fulfilled in people's eyes. And yet they're still going to take the mask. Mark. Essentially, the Lord is showing me that, Grabo, do not allow yourself to get disquieted by the spiritual war going on thinking I've forsaken you. It's just getting worse before it gets better. And I don't know whether by that he means he's gonna t he's about to take the church. I spent yesterday listening to a couple of my favorite Christians on YouTube, and they're busy talking about the rapture when they don't usually talk about the rapture. One of them went so far as to say 2023 at the latest. Guessing dates ain't right. I'm not about that business. I'm not for that Christian life. I don't think it's safe to do that. But when people who tend to steer clear of such things are busy saying such things, and then Garabo can't even sleep during the day because she's been avoiding Freddy Krueger at night. She can't even sleep. Like, guys, I'm under so much spiritual attack. My heart is so somber. I am so broken. I am so devastated. My heart is just shattered. I want to leave. I'm not suicidal. I don't want to die at my own hand. But I also don't want to live. Here. <laughs> no, correction. I do want to live. I don't want to live here. I want to go home. And I don't know how many Christians feel that way right now. It's like nothing is worth it. Babies, whatever. Marriage, whatever. Like, like businesses. All these things off the earth are starting to pale 
in comparison to the prospect of heaven because of how hard it is to live here. It's getting so terrible, so terrible here that even earthly desires are useless. I don't know if I'm the only one, guys. I'm a persecuted Christian, so maybe I am among the few people talking like this. But if if believing people that aren't as abused as I am also just want to get out of here, man, whatever, man, it's your wishes, like... You know, the sad thing about witches is that, according to the book of Revelation, apparently even the signs and wonders of the last days don't cause them to repent. It's written that they neither did, re neither did they, I'm sorry, I'm fudgy, my brain. Neither did they repent of their sorceries or their idolatries or ba their, um, basically they just don't stop. They keep doing witchcraft even though God is burning the earth with wrath I keep on getting flash visions as well of orgy scenes orgies literally I am seeing these lascivious licentious gruesomely pornographic images in my brain flashed on me I don't watch porn I ain't lying I don't I am truly saved and I am truly repentant I've, I'm living an above-board life, guys. There is no reason why I would be so attacked by scenes of orgies in my nightmares and in my visions, and yet I keep seeing them. I, I, there is nothing I'm doing in my waking life for those images to just pop up in my head. I am living an above-reproach life. Take my word for it. My family can confirm that for you, though. Um... And yet I keep on seeing these pornographic images of orgies, like as in multiple men and women engaged in lewd acts. They just keep popping into my mind like a triple X scene, a set. I think God is just showing me that everybody is so toxic right now and everybody's just such a spiritual harlot right now. Except for those consecrated and sealed that belong to Jesus that the world is like a big fat orgy party. They are spiritual harlots in the worst way against God. And that's how God looks down on the earth. He sees a mass orgy and that's Sodom. That's Gomorrah. Those are the days of Noah. Thoughts and intentions evil continually. I wanted to get married. I wanted children. But you know what? I want to go to heaven more than I want any of those things. And if the rapture is really happening, bring it. I won't miss not having had children and I also won't miss not having had a husband. I won't, I just, I need to, I want to get out of here, but only way to get out is either via rapture or death. Yeah, rapture or death, basically, one or two ways. And since I'm highly unlikely gonna die, I'm kind of hoping that it's the rapture. Um, bye.